there are so many times when I just don't know what to say to get myself out of a situation, and I eventually think of what I need to say after the situation has passed and I've already screwed myself over in some way. Bada boom. This first term is very useful for people who just keep asking you for things and you just want to say no. I'm sorry, I'm not going to help you with this because you've done this how many times? I'm just enabling you to keep doing it by helping you. I don't know. Respect. This word is useful for if you're in a situation to where you don't like the way someone's treating you. When you do this, I feel like you're disrespecting me. This one's probably my favorite. You're being manipulative. If anyone tries to guilt trip you. If someone asks defensive when you ask them questions, why are you getting defensive? If someone's begging you, no, you're being manipulative, you need to take no for an answer. If someone accuses you of being a certain way, like, well, why can't you just forgive me and forget about that? Why, why are you holding on to this? Why are you being such a terrible person? Stop. You're being manipulative. If somebody threatens to hurt themselves, you're being manipulative. So then when stuff gets serious, you can definitely call the cops if your stuff is being broken and when it comes down to you feeling in danger. It helps to practice assertive techniques and then practice it because you're going to be put on the spot and you just want to be able to say it. When you act that way, it makes me feel like you don't respect me. This one's great. How to let somebody down when you're not interested. This is what you say. I'm sorry. I don't feel the chemistry. You just, you're basically telling them, your DNA and my DNA don't mix. We're not biologically meant to be together. That's also a great way to break up with someone. Maybe they smell too much like your relative. You should say that. That would actually be kind of funny. It's just, listen, I can't be with you because you smell so much like my aunt. Another useful way of being assertive is to tell somebody when they're trying to focus it on themselves and how they're overwhelmed and how you're just that the horrible person who's just bombarding them with all this stuff and their life is so terrible because of you and if you would just do this one thing, then they'll be happy. Don't fall for it. You're making this about you. This is about both of us. For those people who have a partner who's constantly telling them what they need to do and how they need to be, don't talk to me that way. If you're going to talk to me that way, say it in a respectful manner. Being a pushover is not really that attractive, but if you're assertive, people like that. For some reason, they like someone who can take control of a situation. The awkward moment when somebody wants to go to a party with you and you really don't want to bring them. Here's what you say. I'm sorry, I'm already very stressed about the situation, and I feel like having somebody come with me will make me more stressed out about it. What to say to somebody when they want you to go somewhere? I'm sorry, man, I'm feeling really anxious right now. Which is normally true, and if they can't respect that, then maybe they're not the best friend. This useful phrase is great for showing people that you're a decent person. I believe that all creatures should be treated with respect and dignity. This next phrase is really useful for guys using it on girls or girls using it on guys. As long as it makes you feel good about yourself, that's all that matters. Guys, you want to know the best compliment that you can give a girl? You are the girl version of me. It's like a gift basket of compliments. You're saying that if you were a girl, you wouldn't do anything different than what she does. You respect her, and that you consider her an equal. Girls need to hear that in today's society. And hopefully they're telling you the same thing. Guys, just because people make such a big deal about how you should treat girls right, you need to be treated right too. For those situations when somebody's hassling you and their job is to get you to buy something before you walk away, what is that one thing that you can say that will get them to stop? Oh, I don't like to make immediate decisions. I'll come back for it if I need it. Also, this is the best thing to tell yourself if you are thinking, oh, should I splurge on this? It's a random thing that I didn't come here for, but hey, you know, I think I really want it. I really feel like I want it. I don't know if I want it, but I kind of do. If I really want it, I'll come back for it. By the way, that whole act of withholding affection that some people do in relationship to where they'll be nice at one point and then all of a sudden they'll get really mean because you don't do what they want you to do that's actually an abusive trait if somebody's doing that to you you can even let them know not only are they being manipulative but they're being abusive 